तत्त धीम तकिट धीम तीम तत्ता Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Padma and on this channel I share with you how dance is a philosophical and spiritual practice. I draw on many traditions from my culture which is India, including dance of course, but also uh, philosophies that focus on nature and on the divine feminine. And in this video I want to share with you a practice which I hope will help those of you who uh, feel a bit intimidated by dance or who feel like dance is perhaps not for you. So dance means a lot of things to us in these times. A lot of the time people tell me that they feel a bit intimidated by dance. Um, they feel like dance means something about mastery and virtuosity, something about being perfect, performing, being in public, um, showing something and that may not appeal to everyone. It kind of intimidates people and sometimes people just dismiss dance as not being um, for people that want to have something that is more intimate and personal. But here's the thing, dance is absolutely a practice, a spiritual practice that can be very intimate and personal and it offers very unique uh, approaches to spirituality which are very different to many of the other spiritual traditions. And so in this video I'm hoping to share with you a very simple way in which you can begin to perhaps discover dance and movement um, as uh, I, I actually say dance rather than movement because dance is more than movement. So I'm hoping that you will discover dance as uh, something that is not so fearful and something that is not always about a public performance. So here we're going to work with rhythm. And again, when I say rhythm, please don't be intimidated. I don't mean that there is a set rhythm and we are now going to force our body to uh, to, to kind of dance that rhythm. This is the rhythm that is going to just unravel from our own bodies. It's, it'll be irregular, it will be quite open, it will be um, meandering, it will be what it is. So please join me in this practice. We are going to drop into our lower bodies because rhythm is always about connecting weight connecting, being grounded and connecting to the gravity of the earth. So just gently making your hips heavy and feel like your hips are like a pot of water and then you just want to rest that pot. You want to have that pot allow you to pull yourself into the ground. So your sitting bones are not tucked under you. They're just where you, where it naturally sits behind your body and you can open the femoral joints. It's like you, you're holding the pot between the hips, dropping down. So please adjust this to your body. You don't need to go too deep. It's just so long as you feel that weight from the hips into your feet. And then just swing out the arms. We're not going to allow our upper body, the mind and the arms to lead us. We're actually going to start with our lower body, which is a great way of getting out of the head. So we just going to simply loosen the hips and just transfer the weight gently from one foot to the other. So we don't want to come up. It's like you're just sliding the pot, then you're sliding the pot this way, slide and slide and slide. You can see that my hips are also following that weight. In fact, it's the hips that really carry that movement through. Da, da, da. And you can slowly begin to put some rhythmic syllables with your mouth. It doesn't have to be anything choreographed as I'm doing now. Just da, da, ba, ba, boom. It's for yourself, very intimate, very personal. It's just for yourself. We're not performing here. We're not, this is not to show anybody. And now allow the weight, just play, play with this weight. Here's the play element. So we allow our lower body to just 
move, find some rhythms. And start playing a little bit more. Ta 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 chum pum pa pa ta di di dum pa ta di pa 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 ta di do 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 chum ta ta ta. It's like being in the middle of a game. If you were as an adult when we join uh, groups that play a sport, it's not so much about the winning and losing, right? It's about just turning up once a week or however many times, being amongst friends and just playing, being present, adventurous, alive, enjoying. So this is, this is that sense of play. Ta-dum, dum, ta-dum, dum. Allow, ta-ta-dum. Allow the weight, just allow your lower body to play. Ta -ta. And then follow with your mouth. Dum. Don't let the mouth take over with the rhythms you already know. Pa, pa. And your mouth will always, your mind will always try to make it regular. Ta -ru -ru -rum -pa. Di -di -dum -hum. Ta -tu -du 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 -dum -ta. Ta. And then when you've got the feet, going, you can add your upper body. Ta -ta -ti -tum -tum. Ta -ta -ta -ta. You can do this as long or as short as you want. And then when you finish, just come back to that simple shift of weight. This time, because you've integrated the head and your upper body, you can bring that back in, da 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 dum, da, breathe, feel that aliveness, and just gently come out of it, swing your arms, and shake out of it. So this is a really beautiful encounter with dance. It's simple, it's playful, and in dance as a spiritual practice, play is the doorway. We always have to approach dance in the spirit of play. And by that I don't mean childishly or uh, irreverently without any value, but with this sense of adventure, of allowing the unfolding, not wanting to master in fact. It's not like a technical approach. It's not that you just learn this technique and you master it and you perform it and you wait for adulation and approval. But it's how that dance can com continue to unfold in you. Just as when you play a sport, you don't quite know what's going to happen. You have to be really present and alive and also enjoy it. Uh, take away the competition from it. I'm talking about when we play uh, just for fun. And this is the same with this dancing, is that when you are approaching it as a spiritual practice, it's not about winning and losing. It's not about mastering virtuosity. It's not about performing, but it's simply about how the dance can allow you to be very present to the mystery and the unfolding of your body and of the reality around you. So I hope you enjoy this simple practice of play and I hope that it will allow you, if you've never thought of dancing before or if you have really been put off by dance, that it might give you a way in which dance can become something that is enjoyable and playful. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to your company again next week.